and happy Friday. Welcome to episode 17 of Sweet Skein of Mine. My name is Amanda and I'm coming to you from Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada. Uh, it's a podcast about my knitting. It's kind of just my, my knitting journey uh, and I'm also the dyer behind Sweet Skein of Mine. So anybody that's uh, returning, thank you for watching and any new viewers yeah it's just kind of a podcast about what I've made um, what I want to make and uh, some of my new colorways that I just put in my shop I'll be showing today as well so yeah it's Friday March I don't even know 22nd maybe it's a rainy rainy wet day it's dark and it's gonna be a nice day just to it's nice to have the day off and uh, get some knitting done but um, yeah, I thought I'd get this done as well. This is, it's been a few weeks. So to get started, let's talk about finished objects. And anybody that follows me on Instagram knows that I literally banged this sweater out in like a day and a half, two days. Ta-da! It's over easy. It's a free pattern that Melissa wrote from Espastrico. And anyway, it's a quick, easy knit, and I love it. Anytime I wear it, people, people always compliment it. And I know it's the color as well, because I actually reached outside of my comfort zone, which is black, gray, pink. Um, anyway, this has kind of become one of my newer comfort zone colors, I think. Anyway, I love it. It's called um, Autumn Leaves. I'll show you the pattern first of all. So it is free. And you can download it off the Spastrico blog. And it's, yeah, it's called the Over Easy. Super quick. So I used my 15 millimeter needles. So you use huge, chunky needles. And the yarn is Autumn Leaves in... Uh, the Loopy Mango Mohair So Soft. So I do have one skein left, um, but there's a beautiful um, pattern by, by Loopy Mango, like a big, thick, kind of uh, slouchy hat. So I think that's what I'll do with this. But anyway, this pattern, it's super easy. You, you knit in the round up to here, then you divide and put your back or your front on uh, waist yarn you continue to knit up and bind off and then the back is you continue to knit up bind off do your sleeves and then you just match your seam from your sleeve to wherever you want um, your neck to be I did want like a more of a boat like a wider neck because I, I knew I, I mean it's very it's very see-through you're gonna wear something underneath it so what I did just to kind of simplify um, how I wanted it to fit, the front and the back, I just safety pinned it. And then I tried it on and adjusted where I, I wanted the safety pins to be uh, according to your neck size. And then you stitch it up. So yeah, like the, the sleeves, you just pick up, knit away. Um, now Loopy Mango, it's not, um, this is definitely a, a treat to yourself if you purchase the loopy mango um, mohair but it's beautiful I love it I love it I love it uh, anything that you wear underneath it you will be delinting de it for days <laughs> because there's a lot of fuzz on it uh, but anyway I love it I think it's beautiful it's cozy it's not the least bit itchy and uh, yeah it's just a cute big oversized sweater so I made the size two I'm really happy with the size. I'm glad I didn't go bigger. Um, I could have got a little smaller, but I do like the big drape flow. So anyway, if you want to treat yourself, there's beautiful colors. Um, I was this close to doing the hot pink, which was like super bright, vibrant. And uh, anyway, I didn't, but uh, one of my girlfriends, Monique, is doing the soft pink in it. And oh, it's stunning. So it's like cotton candy pink. Um, Anyway, I'll get a picture of us twinning when she's finished hers. So anyway, so that's one finished object. 
Um, another thing, oh shoot, I forgot my needles. Where are they? I might be able to find them. I was gonna show, so I've mentioned before, I'm not a huge sock knitter, only because I find it really, it's a lot of knitting for something little, when you could do a lot of knitting for something significant. So that's always been kind of my reasoning. However, I am in love with the nine inch circular needles. I just have the chow goo ones. Um, I forgot to show them or to bring them. They're around here somewhere. But anyway, I have made two pairs of socks and I never do that. Like I always knit one sock and then get tired of it. And if I feel like knitting another pair of socks, I end up going with a different colorway. So I have probably four socks that have no mates. But anyway, uh, so I'll show you what I got finished. Pop this on my sock blocker. This is the first pair I finished. And I did it in my, oh, I'm hooked, in my uh, electric circus colorway. It's sad, because I've worn these to death, and I wear them in my black leather boots, and they got super, like, grungy stained. I can't get it off, and I've done everything, but anyway, they're there to be worn, right? So, uh, yeah, this is, so this is electric circus, and it's just a natural base with, I mean, there's fluorescent pink and yellow and green and blue and turquoise, purple, you name it. There's every color in it. So it flew. I don't tend to do a really high leg uh, because I get bored. And I just, I, my favorite part of sock knitting is, um, is doing the heel. I don't know why. I just really enjoy doing the, uh, the heel part of the whole process. So I always do the, um, the heel flap and gusset. And I taught myself how to do that by watching the Knitting Blooms podcast. Is it Knitting Blooms? Knit Blooms or Knitting Blooms? It's, it, anyway, it's wonderful. It's step by step. She's, uh, she's a wonderful uh, teacher. So anyway, I, um, it's just a vanilla sock. So yeah, I knit, I don't know what that is, maybe four inches, do my heel flap gusset. Uh, I'm a size seven foot, so I just knit. And I, I like doing this heel because then you, you're able to try it on and see where you are. So I just knit until I need about two inches to do my, to finish my toe off. So I have a pair of socks finished, which like I said, I never ever do. But I'm chalking it up to the nine inch circulars. So you do need your um, longer needle, or I do anyway, to do your, your heel and your toe. So, and I do that magic loop. So there's my second finished object. And also I was sold out of Electric Circus for a while. It, it was like I tried to do a few neons to put a, like a big punch of color in my Etsy shop and that one sold like that. So I just, um, I just listed three more this morning. So if anybody missed out on that, there's three more. And I think it is a colorway I'll keep in the shop. So if those three are gone, there will be more. So I have those. And then I finished another pair of socks. So this is in um, my BFL High Twist 8020 sock colorway for Fox sake. And fun fact, my maiden name is Fox. So Hopefully that's showing up as pretty as it is. It's a, it's not, it's looking more dark. The color, the, the lighting in my kitchen isn't very good. That's probably more a representation of what it is. So it's like a caramelly, toffee, tonal base, speckled. And uh, yeah, same thing. I don't do a very high top. Um, and again, these are, this is made for a size seven foot. So these are gonna be for my mother-in-law for, uh, Mother's Day. Barb loves neutrals and browns, so um, I really want to get out of all this selfish knitting that I've been doing and start gift knitting more. <laughs> I did a couple of years ago. I did, I'd knit more for other people and now I'm, I've been stuck on obsessed with all these new patterns out, but I'm getting back to gift knitting, so gift number one. 
That lighting is terrible. That's not, that's better. And because I don't do like such short legs of my sock, I have all this yarn left. So I think I can get probably another mini out. Mini pair out of that, so. So that's it, And but I also wanted to show you, my mom made me this, it's a finished object and um, it's a shawl and she used that same colorway for fox sake in the shawl and it's so pretty. And she also used um, flannel sheets, but it's a beautiful shawl, it's asymmetrical. I don't know what the pattern was, if anybody's curious, uh, direct message me and I'll find out from my mom. But so it's nice to see your colorways knit up, whether it's shawl or socks, because I don't, I don't tend to, uh, to knit everything I make, of course. And so that's it for finished objects. Um, I'm going to go right into uh, whips. But before I do that, last podcast I had shown you this um, asymmetrical shawl that I had made with the Chelsea Pearls or the Chelsea Lux Yarn Colorway Pink Peony. And I didn't know what the pattern was. I found it. It's um, the Pembroke Scarf. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. And um, yeah, so if anybody's looking for that one skein project, uh, you know, like sometimes you, you buy sock yarn and it's just too pretty for socks. So um, the Pembroke. And it's by Elizabeth McCartan. So I'll put that back up there in case anybody wants to make it. Yeah, so I'm going to keep that on hand because I do like these one skein projects. But also this size is perfect. It's just, it's just a nice size that it covers your neck, um, but it fits in your bag easily too, especially this time of year because you don't know if you're going to be cold or if anything, I, I hate my neck being cold. So... I like this size because it just stays in my bag perfectly. Okay, so now I'll talk about my whips. Um, my beautiful project bag. Mona Schmidt made me this um, and gave it to me last time I was at Aspastrico. We did a little trade. And this is the bag that she made. Isn't it gorgeous? I love this fabric with the little leather bottom. So inside of it, so I've made two of these already and anybody that's made it loves it and I know wants to make more. But like I said, I am gift knitting. So this is more gift knitting and it is the Trimont Snood. I love it so much. So this time, I'm, my last one I made was made out of the Julie Asselin romance colorway and it's that pinky purple one I love it so um, and the one before that was gray I gave that away so this is going to be a gift for one of my friends and I dyed up this colorway it's called copper rose and it turned out gorgeous so it's basically I double dyed one skein and I used like uh, rusty browns and, uh, and a fuchsia pink and it gave this gorgeous look so I'll show you what it looks like knit up I listed two more in my shop and they sold quickly and people asked if I would do more and I and I totally will so this weekend I'm gonna dye up more of that yarn but this is it knit up and get a better look at this colorway oh the lighting's terrible so I'm doing it in DK the the uh, pattern calls for worsted um, but I'm using um, the mod modifications that Melissa from Espastrico used, and it's all on their project page on Ravelry. So the needle size, um, oh, here comes my puppy. It's 10.30, he's just getting out of bed. That's because he wants to party all night. That's why I have bags under my eyes. He like seriously gets up at night and barks at me and wants to play. I'm gonna let him out to pee. So 
Sorry about that. So yeah, this is my third Trimont snood. Snood? Snood. Um, yeah. But it's a gift, and I love it so much. I'm gonna have to dye more and make another one because I, I really like this colorway. So Copper Rose, it is. So try this knit out if it, it's, it takes, I would say a skein and a half of DK yarn. And I'm using size, where's my needle size? Six millimeters on my licky, likey. So that's one width. There, my second width. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is, I love this so much. Um, it's in my Hikari handmade bag. And look, my new, my new favorite enamel pen, the Chelsea Pearls. Christina and I did a swap, so this was in my little care package. Anyway, look at the size of this bag. It's awesome. So it's Hikari handmade. It, she has an Etsy shop, and uh, her bags are stunning. I actually have another treat on its way. Like, I need more bags, but I do. When you see her patterns, you need more. Just having some cold water this morning in my... It's from, Dan got me this out west. So anybody, Yoka, you may know this one, Canmore, Alberta, out of the fire. Isn't that beautiful? Dan has to travel a lot for work and he's, he's fun. He always brings me home a tree. And this was one of them. So let's show you, oh, got fuzzies. What I'm doing. Here comes my son. Alex, come say hi. What? I'm doing a podcast. Okay. You want to come say hi? No. no? Okay. Just like that. <laughs> Just crawling out of bed. Alrighty. So, speaking of crawling out of my comfort zone with colors, this is happening right now. It's in my colorway Wicked. I've had the mohair in my shop for a while, um, but I dyed up some BFL as well. Anyway, so this is what inspired it. Um, I was watching Ritual Dye's Instagram stories and she had it on and I was sold once I saw it on. It's, it's gonna be so pretty. So by Petite Knits, it's the No Frills Cardigan. I know a lot of people are doing the no frills sweater right now, but um, anyway, I saw this and I had to do it. I had to dye up this colorway. So you double strand it. it this is gonna be a massive project. I mean, I know I'm a quick knitter, however, this is gonna be long. So this is what I've got done so far. And I've learned a lot. I haven't knit something like this before without saying too much um, because it's a paid for pattern. You start here and go up there and then you go here to there. And then anyway, it's, it's a fun pattern. I, I love learning new things. And so I have been learning new things so far, but look at this color. Oh my God, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So this is what I've gotten done gotten finished so far. Um, for anybody that is a big sweater knitter, which I truly have become, I can't recommend these more. They're just like sleeve holders for, for your, uh, instead of using waste yarn made by Clover, I have the size large and it's just easier because one end is a needle like that. So picking up the stitches, so easy or to need to knit off and anyway I love these so I do recommend getting these there's a stopper at one end so this is yeah so this is what I have done so far now like I said this is going to be a monster project because from the armpit down my next step is to knit 35 centimeters then you measure for your pockets and then you keep going and then I'll be on sleeve island for a while so 
but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I don't have any kits or anything in my shop, but one thing I always tell people, um, custom orders anytime. Anytime, all the time. Um, and it adjusts the price as well. Like if you're ordering in bulk, I would never, it would never be $28 a skein or 32 a skein, like for the mohair. So um, always direct message me and we can talk about, you know, what you had in mind for colors and, and whatnot. So, so those are my whips. That's all I have on the, on the go, on the needles right now. Um, I do plan on putting some socks on the needles though soon in a, one of my new colorways, which I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, but I will talk about what I have for future knitting. So I have been eyeing, I, anybody that knows me knows I love Caitlin Hunter. I love um, all of the Boylan knit patterns. So far I've done the Tanya, the Tecumseh, two angles. I think that's it. But anyway, next on the needles, <clears throat> the, Ninil the Ninilchik Swancho. I love it. So it's like a poncho body, but with the tapered sleeves and the, the long cuff. So I've been looking at this forever. I came very close to ordering a Farmer's Daughter um, kit, because her colors um, are amazing. The Farmer's da Daughter fiber, you should check them out. She's got gorgeous colorways. So, but then I thought, that's silly. I'm, I'm a dyer. I'm gonna, I have to start like taking advantage of that and stop. I love to try everybody's yarn. And at some point, you know, even if I just order one, which I have one to show you because it is for me, just order one and enjoy it because it's pricey. Um, but so I, I did, I, I dyed up my own, my own color kit for the Swan Show. So I must say the nurtured sweater that I had um, begun has been put on the back burner because I just, I got preoccupied with the no frills and then I wanted to start gift knitting because I've got some birthdays coming up. Um, and then I just, I've seen so many of these swan shows on Instagram that I'm like, oh, I really have to make it. So here's my palette and I love it so much. Oh, it is, I'm gonna show maybe one at a time. So there's this like goldy toffee mustard color. And then this dusty rose pink, this is not showing up at all. Darn it. I know it's my kitchen light that's messing everything up. And then this brown. And then my Ninkasi tweed. So this is going to be the body. And this will be the color work. And I love it. It's going to be so pretty. So I don't know when I'm going to start this because it won't be mindless knitting. It will be a lot of paying attention, but this is uh, dream knitting. This is going to happen within the next month, maybe. There's that, and then this sweater has been on the internet or on Instagram a lot as well. Good Night Day is the pattern book. And it's called the Strathcona, the Strathcona sweater. Here's the name of it. And here's the sweater. So there's one picture. There's another. So it's got these bell sleeves, a little bit of a mock neck raglan, just kind of loose and uh, looks super cozy. So in my shop, I haven't really died to list yet, but I will be. Um, I got the single ply bulky basin and it's so pretty. So this colorway is called What's on Tap. And yeah, so that's gonna be the Strathcona, Strathcona sweater. 
eventually. So that's kind of what I have in my queue all lined up for uh, what's going to happen. Um, so I'll jump into acquisitions because this is also going to happen too. This is one of those gains I said, like, you know, you could order a lot, um, it could be pricey, but I treated myself to one skein of the Clinton Hill Cashmere. And it comes in this little bag. Um, I've been eyeing this yarn and there's so much talk about it. I mean, it's cashmere, it's beautiful. So I went ahead and got the camel color, this camel color. Uh, it's beautiful. I would have liked the black, but where I was just getting one skein, I knew it was going to be for a hat. And I already have my Mayak hat that I just knit and I love it. So I don't want another black hat. I want, I want another staple color and oh, it's so nice. So when you order this and you order it from her kit collection, you get a pattern to download. So the one I decided to get is the Pratt hat. So it's just going to be this little toque and uh, I think it's going to be a nice a nice staple to my my winter my winter knits I know spring is coming but you wouldn't know it here here in the east, the east coast of Canada we've got a lot of snow um, and it's still cool out so I think I could whip this up in a few days and be able to get a little bit of wear out of it <clears throat> So that's an, accus er, ac an acquisition. I'm really not awake yet. So I have that. Also, um, one of my Instagram friends, this is what I love about the fact that I did this dyeing, podcasting, everything. I've met so many friends and, and have become connected with people that, I mean, you never would have, it would have never happened. and. I mean, it's just getting out of my my own little circle, my own little world, and, and meeting new people. Uh, I love it. And I've had um, a girl, Karen, in the UK, who's ordered yarn from me a couple of times. Anyway, I get a message one day saying, "Watch your mail. There's a there's a treat coming." She sent me. First of all, I'm going to show you the card because she hand makes her own cards. Isn't that beautiful? Anyway, it says a DPN cozy made in cabbages and roses in vintage, in vintage Laura Ashley. Look at this DPN cozy. And her message was, I know you love pink, so you'll enjoy this. And I, I do, I love it so much. It's gorgeous, Karen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It reminds me of my nan. It, it's just so pretty and delicate and soft and pink. Anyway, I cherish it. I love it. Thank you so, so, so much. So I have that. Um, another little gift I got was from my mom. We went When we went to um, that knit in that I was talking about at uh, in St. John that they had at Brunswick Square, um, they did a draw and it was funny because my mom won, but she won a skein of my yarn. <laughs> anyway, I hadn't donated it. It was donated by Cricut Cove. So she won, I did a special colorway for Cricut Cove that they'll be, um, it's called the Knitties 2019 colorway. So my mom took it and knit up this sweet shawl and gave it to me. So this is the Knit East colorway. It's kind of a tonal, a natural base with pink, flecks of hot pink, and like a like an avocado green. Um, again, I don't know what this pattern is, but if anybody would like to know, direct message me or ask below, and I'll get right back to you. I'll find out for my mom. But another one skein project, and it's it's wonderful, oh, and it's got a lot of uh, a lot of oomph to it. Anyway, I love lace work too. Thank you, Mom. So when she gave me this, she also, we have a friend of ours that has an Etsy shop, uh, Leanne Duguay Owls on Dante. She's on Etsy. And she does stitch markers, project, or like project 
markers, project keepers, progress keepers. Oh no, my doorbell's gonna ring. Yeah. A delivery. Oh, Teddy. Sorry. Anyway, I finished. Okay, you're good. I don't edit, so I'm gonna apologize now. Okay, Teddy, you're good. Here's one of the stitch markers that my mom gave me. Can you see it? Oh, darn it. Super Mama. I like this one. <laughs> oh, come on. There. Be badass every day. And I, I, I use these all the time. I know, it, it, we just call it knitting jewelry. When in doubt, drink wine first. Look at that. Leanne, you find the cutest things to put out there. And then lastly, a little birdie. And this is also another thing that reminds me of my Nan. Cute little bird. So she's Owls on Dante on Etsy. And she has got so many different, beautiful, adorable uh, progress keepers. So you have to check her out for sure. Um, so that's an acquisition. Whew, heating up. And then lastly, um, Christina from the Chelsea Pearls. She, uh, she has Chelsea Yarns in New Jersey, Red Bank, New Jersey. I love her, excuse me, I love, love, love her podcast. They're so fun, her and me, her, her friend Miriam. Um, anyway, we did a swap. And it was, uh, it was so fun because yesterday morning, my friend Kathy messaged me and said, have you seen the Chelsea Pearls podcast? You're on it. And anyway, so she opened her presence on her podcast and it was, it, that was so much fun. And then like two hours later, um, my doorbell rings and my package came that she sent me. So anyway, I'll show you the little goodies that I have. Um, it's all of her hand dyed yarn, but here's another stitch marker. Chelsea Yarns, little wooden. I it must be made by Katrinkles because it's that nice, cute little wooden one. And she sent me Chelsea Party and it's in her buxom base. Favorite leather boots in DK and mohair. And that hat I told you I love so much, the black one, it was in the uh, road trippin'. It's a free pattern on, on uh, Ravelry. And so I'm going to make a hat out of this. I love this favorite leather boots. Definitely loving the goldy, the goldy browns lately. And then lastly, I got another cookie gate, but this one has Stellina in it. So it's a 75-25. Anyway, it's a cookie gate. It's in her sock base. So I actually think I will make socks out of this because they're sparkly and so pretty. Anyway. These swaps are fun, especially like, you know, hand dyers or crafters. I've done swaps with bag makers and, um, yeah, progress keeper makers. <laughs> We've done swaps and it's fun. It's, it's a great way to, to trade your wares and, and mix, mix up what uh, things you want to try. So if you're looking for an easy hat pattern, it is the road trip and hat. So there, that's it. Oh, that was a mouthful. Um, so lastly, I'm just going to show you some colorways that I just did up. Um, but I also want to mention my Knitter's Balm has been a hit and it's sold out. So um, I do have more coming. Um, I would think in the next week maybe. Um, but 
they're going fast. If you do want to direct message me, I can hold one with your name and uh, and then message you when, when I do have them. So um, I love it. This is what, when you get yours, it's a full circle. This is a half because mine broke and then I just continued to use one. But um, some people that get it, it comes as like a little circular disc and it's going to be that thick in your tin and I just take it out and I rub it in my hands and warm it up and oh my gosh I love it my whole family is using it now Dan uses it after work uh, my dad loves it he's a cross-country skier so his hands get really dry um, anyway Kate Michaud who made it um, rustic soap company like I said before, she nailed it with the ingredients, with the smell, everything. So I will be having more. I've had a couple of people ask, uh, shoot, I missed out. And no, I, I will be getting, uh, I just ordered 20 more. So they're coming. Also, um, I sold out of the Yarn Snob bracelets. Um, I had the Yarn Snob in stock. There for a while I still have some earrings left um, but what I did get this time just to mix it up is this one knit club so um, I have these in stock right now so my friend who's a jewelry maker Jules by Angie if you're on the East Coast or live in the St. Andrews area you definitely have heard heard of her she makes beautiful jewelry and uh, all silver components and she did uh, like a little knit line for me so there's some of those um, I am so excited this is I haven't been this excited about colorways since I think I did I, I always have fun dyeing and have fun naming them but I had a ball doing um, my Christmas advent um, minis and I had a ball doing uh, how the Grinch stole Christmas colorways. It was so much fun just naming them, dyeing them. This is the next like th big thing that I am so excited about. So lately, I uh, I got obsessed with the Game of Thrones, and even my son was like, "There's no way you're gonna watch that, Mom. You're gonna be so scared, and it's gonna be gory, too gory for you, and blah blah blah." And and but so many of um, our couple friends have, are watching it right now. And so I really wanted to try it, but I knew, like, I get scared. Like, I can't even, I, I couldn't even watch King Kong. Like, not the original, black and white, but, like, the new one when I was, like, I'm done. I can't watch this. Anything that gives me anxiety or makes my heart race. Like, I am, I like the Golden Girls. I like Seinfeld. I like The Office. <laughs> That's, like, calm and happy. And, but the Game of Thrones didn't do that to me didn't scare me the gore it's gory but it doesn't make me freaked out or scared um, I'm in love with it I'm in love with the characters I love this series so this is our uh, nighttime go to bed watch two episodes uh, we're early in the game um, for watching I think there's like nine nine seasons maybe anyway we're getting there but I'm in love with it so I had to do a colorway so it is called the micro the game of micro striping and here they are i don't know why i'm so excited about these but i am and i think they turned out beautiful and i listed them this morning and i'm getting lots of awesome feedback so the color sucks in this kitchen right now but i'm gonna hopefully it'll show up okay i'm gonna hold it back and then see how it goes forward this is john snow so like i said it's called the game of micro striping so they will micro stripe and the colors are tonal and I really really had fun making it about the character so Jon Snow it's like this charcoal gray and this grayish slaty blue Jon Snow this is the things I do for love and I love this one it's so funny this is when Jamie shoves the kid out the window and he looks at his sister who he was just you know intimate with and says oh the things I do for love so I love it 
it's like a, I don't know, like a navyish denimy blue with this hot pinky purple. I don't know if the color is showing up. If you look at Instagram, it, it shows a little better. But um, anyway, so the things I do for love. This is Sansa's Regret. So it's this soft brick red and lavender purple. Oh. Here's that one. This one is Winter is Coming. So it's a soft, a soft green, like a sagey green and a pale, like baby blue. Winter is Coming. I love this one because I love his character so much. This is called I Drink and I Know Things. <laughs> so it's this goldy yellow and like a weedy kind of brownish. And this is Swing the Sword. I love this one too. It's bright, like blood red and less silvery gray. So swing the sword. And last, everybody knows that this is going to be my favorite. Not only is she my like favorite character, but I love this so much. So this is Mother of Dragons, my very favorite one. And the yellowish part is showing up brighter than it is, but it's a really soft, soft pale pink and like a, like a pale, pale buttercream yellow. So I think this is what I'm going to steal. So here they are. Game of micro striping. Anyway, if you haven't checked out Game of Thrones, check it out. It's so good. And I know I'm such a loser. I'm so late to the game for those of you that are like already over it or into it. Cause I know, is it still going? Yeah, it's still going. Um, I don't know how many seasons there's going to be, but I love it. So I think that's it. My shop is updated. I've got treats that I have to knit up sweaters, my no frills cardigan. Can't wait for that to be done. Um, and one last thing, uh, my birthday is in April. So I have a fun little colorway coming, but also I did another collaboration. So Tailored Soap Company, um, she makes bath bombs and soaps and anyway, I, um, I did a collaboration with her because I feel like the only thing missing from my shop, like I've got yarn, jewelry, knitter's balm, um, what was missing? Lip gloss. I mean, oh my gosh, if I had a beer and a tea and a tea, then I'd really be complete, but I don't think I'll get a beer or a tea named for my company anytime soon. But she did a lip gloss. This is the prototype. And the first 10 people in April that order my birthday colorway, it will be bundled. So I have a fun little stitch marker that will be put into it. It will have this lip gloss. This lip gloss is so universal. It's a pale, pale pink, and it's got like a minty taste to it. So it's not packaged or anything yet, or labeled, I should say. Uh, but yeah, so that's happening in April and I'm going to be doing another giveaway. I just did one a couple of weeks ago. Someone got my uh, It's Not Easy Being Green and Yarn Snob Earrings. I'm going to do a birthday giveaway in April and also there will be like a little birthday bundle of like a skein of yarn, a lip gloss, a marker, and maybe some other fun goodies. We'll see. But I'll keep you updated on Instagram and... Yeah, I guess that's it. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy knitting. Um, if you have any questions about anything I talked about, please uh, send me a direct message via Instagram because I'm pretty good on that. I suck on Ravelry. It's just not where I do anything. 
except for browse patterns. So contact me on Instagram or, or put a, a note underneath this podcast and I will get back to you. And again, I do do any kind of special requests for yarn colors and sweater quantities, etc. So just let me know. Anyway, have a great weekend. I will see you hopefully in two or three weeks. Okay, bye.